What's happening gamers? It's me Amber and hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Today we're going to be playing Mineko's Night Market and this is on Xbox Game Pass but I believe this is on other systems as well. And I'm sorry that I'm late. Um, basically I was talking to my brother and uh, yeah. So, uh, so anyways, um, my brother kind of plays games. Well, actually, no. My brother likes to play a lot of retro games, so he was talking to me about Bravely Default, and that was kind of interesting. So, like, my whole life, um, when I was younger, I didn't talk to my brother about games because I didn't... I don't want to say this to... Like, I basically didn't play a lot of video games because I was mainly doing my homework and stuff like that. So, um... So, yeah, um... Um, so yeah, the, basically, um, that was kind of interesting, having a nice conversation and just talking about some stuff. Um, and then earlier today, I, uh, made a small, uh, um, a small thing for my, um, um, I don't know why my mind just goes completely blank when I'm first streaming. Uh, so I think when I have more coffee, my mind is like going like this. I kind of ran out of coffee. So, um, yeah, so I made like a little tiny salad for Luke cause he was hungry. He woke up and he was kind of hungry. So, um, I had like some from the store sometimes they have like these salads where they have like the salad kit. So I got like a Chipotle ranch kit for him. He can't have chicken. So I just got a Chipotle ranch kit salad kit, um, the other day, and I just, um, I had, like, a, a corn on the cob with, in the fridge, so I just kind of, like, microwaved it and then, like, cut the corn into a salad, and then I had some leftover, like, uh, cooked hamburger, and I put that on the salad, so hopefully he enjoyed it, and, um, I made him a cute little salad there, and he ate it in bed and went back to sleep, so hopefully that worked out for, uh, Luke's tummy. <laughs> um, so yeah, today we're going to be basically trying to get some resources to make some more clay, um, things. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we need a lot of clay to make like these ramen bowls that our dad needs for his shop. So, um, so we're going to try to, uh, also we're going to kind of explore areas and, um, let's see, let's get, oh, I don't, let's get these, uh, sports drinks. All right. So we got some sports drinks. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bus and we're going to go and try to get some clay. Um, let's see. So... I haven't actually gone to the frozen lake yet, but we're going to go get some clay first. Um, hi, Matthew King, Alexander. This game is, uh, was free on Xbox Game Pass. I don't know if it still is, but when I got it, it was free on Xbox Game Pass. Um, I don't know how much this game is currently if you get it on other, um, I don't know. Thank you for praying for Luke. I appreciate that, PJ. Um... Yeah, like, Luke had too much, uh, painkiller when he... Good to see you back, uh, Matthew King, Alexander. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. And, um, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, good to see you. And hope you're doing well, Matthew King. Um, and I, yeah, I appreciate all of you guys being here. Hi, Jade Rose. How's it going? Hi, everyone. Um, is Luke feeling better? Thank you for praying for him, BJ. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, he'll probably tell me when he gets up if he's feeling better. Because if I wake Luke up to see if he's feeling better, then um, then he, it'll be hard for him to get back to sleep. <laughs> so I, I, just, I usually just wait until he wakes up and then he'll let me know if he's feeling okay. Um, yeah, but thank you for the prayers and it, it always helps tremendously and, um, you know, um, um, yeah, today, okay, so we're going to actually do this, uh, metal detector, getting some clay here. Let's see. So we're going to look for some clay. Okay. So I'm going to put my first time code in gathering clay. Hi, 
Hi, Anthony. Hi, Rudy the Shiny Hunter. Good. How are you doing today? Hi, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, I mean, like, the, I think the harder life gets in life, I think, like, you know, I guess, like, sometimes, you know, I always kind of forget to, you know, pray about stuff, and I think it really, it really does help to just take time to pray about things, because it, it helps out tremendously. Well, it's just my personal thing that I've found. But anyways, today we're, so this is called Mineko's um, Night Market. It is a game about a, um, a little girl, and she moves to this uh, city in Japan, and she's new, so she's very shy, which attracted me to the game because I'm very shy myself. People may not know, but I'm, I'm actually painfully shy, like in real life. Like my husband uh, included me in part of his business, and you know helped me to give me confidence to be on the mic and stuff like that. But I'm really shy in real life, so I can very much relate to the character. And um, I just like the, the, so basically the game is about, she moves to this new area and you basically have to make crafts for this night market. And the, the town is kind of not doing the best because their businesses are kind of failing. Everyone's moving out of the town. And there used to be this um, cat spirit that watched over the town. It was like this giant cat, uh, like a cat deity or cat spirit. Um, a cat sage or whatever and the cat left because people either didn't keep the the cat shrine up or they stopped believing in the cat or something like that and the cat's name is Nico which I think is similar to cat in Japanese um so yeah so then oh my gosh this cat is in my way when I'm trying to I'm trying to dig okay there we go Oh my gosh, I'm trying to dig and the cat digging button is the same as the cat button. As the petting button. There we go. Okay, good. So basically, as you go through the story, um, this is what's known as a cozy game. Uh, games in this category would be like Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing, Farm Sim games. So this game is not a hard game to play. Um, so it's right up my alley. <laughs> Um, but it's, it is fun and it's sweet and it's enjoyable and it's uplifting. And so I really like it a lot. It's made by a company called Humble Games and they're actually there. Uh, they had another game on the Nintendo Indie, um, like the last Nintendo Indie showcase, which also has cats in it. So I really seem, I seem to like this company a lot. And, um, basically it's a very cute game about a, a little girl that is not too confident and the more she stays in this town, learns to make friends, is part of a secret club trying to find this, um, elusive cat, uh, mystery, uh, cat deity and, um, she kind of, uh, the story progresses where she has to save a girl who was actually kidnapped by these agents that are capturing these cats because they're trying to... Um, basically they're looking for the cat, um, deity that's like watching over the, the village. And, um, so basically what, what the game is trying to do is I bet at the end of the game, we're going to bring the cat deity back to the village, Nico, and then the village will be blessed again with, um, prosperity and people coming to the town and businesses flourishing again and that will be probably the end of the game i'm just guessing i haven't seen the end of the game but i'm gonna i'm gonna guess that's what it is but the the game is really fun um there's like a night market aspect to it which is a lot of fun where you can like race cats and buy um, goodies and do like um, carnival things and um it's a lot of fun you can also rescue cats from secret agents so we'll probably do a little bit of that today um so yeah, it's, it's a really cute game, and I've been kind of playing it in the mornings uh, for a while, and I stopped playing it for a while because I, I don't know, I guess I just, um, uh, I, I think, I don't remember why I stopped, but we're, we're going for it again now. I'm kind of getting back into it. So I was playing this game and also Spiritfarer, which were both free on the Xbox Game Pass at the time. And uh, they're both a lot of fun. The Spirit Fair is a more well-known game than this one. This one isn't as well-known. 
but I like it a lot. Um, the game is all about cats. As you can see, I'm even wearing a cat outfit right now, which this is one of my many outfits. This isn't my starting outfit, but I do like wearing this little cat outfit. So my, my character's name is Mineko, and this game takes place in Japan, and her best friend's name is Bobo, and then she also has another best friend named Miyako, who's also another little girl in the town, and Bobo is a little boy, and they are, they're all part of this, like, club where they're trying to save the cat spirit and help, because the cat spirit is trying to help, um, bring the town back to life, and, um... And they actually put on like little plays about the cat spirit, so you kind of get to see the background of the lore of the cat spirit and stuff like that by watching the plays. So it's it's pretty cute. And when you guys see like dialogue with different characters and stuff, you'll get to see why this game is very charming because the game kind of feels like a um, I don't know, like an old friend or like it just feels really uh, warm and fuzzy because. It just has very cute dialogue, and you'll get to see, like, when I actually talk to somebody new. Alright, so right now we're just, um, trying to... To basically find some clay in this area. Let's see. Well, I, I know there's some clay over here, but it's not allowing me to find it. All right, there we go. So we got some more clay and we got some rainbow dye. So I think we got most of the clay. Zelda. Ugh. Zelda. Alright, sorry about that. My my cat was um, getting sick. Um, Zelda seemed to be getting sick a little bit. That's my cat, Zelda. Um, I, I kind of took care of it. Welcome to the metal detecting booth. Okay. Alright, so we got everything out of there. We're going to go back. Thank you guys for hanging on. I appreciate that. Um, I just heard my cat making a noise and I had to check on her, so hopefully she's alright. All right, so the next thing um, we're going to do is we're going to try to go to the next area. So let's actually try to go to this frozen frozen lake. So we're going to try going there. And I don't know how we're going to do on this, but we're going to try it out. Link is eating with Zelda. They're both eating their food right now. Oh, 
you got uh, Lego DC Super Villains for Christmas. Awesome. Um, on Switch, awesome, Rudy. Great to see you, Rudy. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, that's great. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. All right, so we are in the frozen lake. Hmm, no sign of their HQ here, but I should listen in and see what I can hear, what direction they're heading. I should take out the supply crate and free the caged cats here too. All right, so these are agents that have stolen the cats. For some reason, they're trying to steal all the cats from the cat shrine area. There's like a, a like basically like it's like, um. It's like a, a giant cat that basically like is like a cat. I keep calling it a cat spirit, but it's more like a cat guardian. And this cat guardian, Nico, um, uh, watches over the town. But, you know, uh, there was a time in the history of this village where basically Nico, um, they, somebody tried to move Nico out of the Basically, somebody got jealous because one farmer's land was getting more prosperous than the other. And so they kind of chased Nico, the cat guardian, out of the village. And then because of that, everyone's um, land stopped prospering. And everyone's land was barren and not really doing well. So that's what we're trying to bring back, the Nico cat guardian, so that we can basically bring prosperity back to the village. That's basically the idea of this game. And just so you guys know, there are two more streams after this that are both Lego DC Super Villains if you guys want to check that out. Alright, so all we have to do is basically try to get past these, um, these agents and rescue these cats. I don't see any cat up here. So I'm in my, I pressed L1 so I can sneak around. So this is my regular walk and then I sneak, this is my sneak walk. So when I'm trying to make sure I don't actually wake these agents up, I have to sneak around. I can stop sneaking now. Yep, the... Yeah. The music sounds like jazz and lo-fi combined. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Matthew. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. You cannot go in this direction. Okay, thank you. It's very sweet of you, Matthew. Thank you. And if you guys ever lose track of the the um, channel, just remember we don't our notifications don't really get to go out very much. Okay, am I completely glitched? Oh, sorry. Whoops. Okay. So yeah, you guys can always check out our newsletter or come back to the channel if you don't get a notification of a video, and we'll still be streaming. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, wow, wow. All right, I got that cat.
Well, I guess I can't do anything with that crate right now. Let's let's try it again and see if I can do anything. Looks like I can't do anything with that crate right now. All right, so we have six more. It says we have six more cats we have to rescue. Whoops. We can't get seen by the agents or we lose a heart. All right, so here's a... Got one of the cats out. Honestly, I don't see what the problem is here. Yeah, I think it's it's playing the jazz music because I'm supposed to be like a super spy or something. So it looks like um, this is an area I still haven't gone in. Whoopsies. I feel like I could have done that better. I think I messed this part up. Yeah, I think I was supposed to push the other one. Well, I don't think I can get that cat. Maybe it'll reset if I come back to it later. I don't know. Okay, I haven't gone this way yet, I don't think. So let's see if those snowballs reset. We only have three more cats we need to rescue. Looks like the snowballs did not reset. Oh no. Might have to do this whole thing again. Well, that's that cat over there. Let's see where the other cats are. 
We have to find two more cats, and then I don't really know what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll have to do the whole thing again some other time. Okay, we already got whatever was over here. There's obviously some other cats around here. Hmm. Oh, there's a cat. We got one of them. Here's one. So... So I have to have two more cats to rescue. Well, there's one cat in there. Uh oh, okay, I think I, I think I know what you need to do here. Alright, so I got all the cats except for one, and it, that one was kind of glitched up. So, I don't really know. Yeah, so this is completely glitched up. The the joy of indie games. I don't think that's going to allow me to do that. So I'm going to literally have to come back and do it the entire thing again. At least I know how to get all the cats now. And I should be able to do it really fast. So apologies for that. I don't know why that glitched up on me. Okay. Whoa, whoa. That lady's... Uh... Thing almost got me. All right, so I think we're gonna go back home and we're gonna go, we're gonna do this again because I think it's completely glitched up. But I know where the last cat is, so we should be okay. Um, let's see, Minico's Night Market. All right, so Minico's Night Market is $34.99 uh, on Switch. It is, or you can get it $19.99 um, on Switch digitally. Um, and it's also on Xbox. So you get it on Xbox and Switch. And I don't know if it's on PS5 or not. It might be on PS5. Looks like... Yep, looks like it's on PS5 also. So you can play it on, um... So Maneko's Night Market is available on Xbox, Switch, and PS5. Hi, Isaiah. Hi, OH. Hi, I'm Haseen. 
It says cute. It is pretty cute. All right, so we we completely glitched that out, but we're going to go back, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the clay we got and make a ramen bowl. So we're going to go here to our crafting station and try to make a... Oh, we need more dye. We don't have enough dye, so... Darn it. Ah, uh, to get dye, we have to get some fish. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Alright, those are all our cats. Um, I don't know if we've watered this one out here. Yeah, we did water it. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to go back to sleep. And we're going to try to go out tomorrow. And we're going to need to get some dye. Oh, actually, first... Well, what we're going to do is try to rescue... Um, We're going to try to rescue the cats again. So this time we're going to try not to glitch it up. Alright, so I'm just like watching a video right now to make sure I do not glitch it up. Okay. So it's pretty easy not to glitch it up. Um, I just kind of messed up on it. Um, so we're going to do it again. We're going to go to the frosted area. And maybe we will actually um, wear a different outfit. Okay, so we're getting kind of towards the end of the game. Alright, we got a cute little farmer outfit on. And you can always turn the TV on as well. Um, usually your dad is like in the house with you right now. He's waiting for his ramen bowls. So we're going to go right where we were last time and go all the way up there and try to... Um... We're going to go all the way to the top and we're going to try to rescue these cats. So... This is exactly what we did last time, but this time we'll try not to glitch this up. So, we're gonna do this as fast as possible. So I think I'm gonna do this one first so I don't mess this up. We're gonna go all the way over here. And so to not mess this up, you have to move this ball, not the other one. There, now you can easily get the cat. That was way easier than whatever I messed up on. Like, I messed that up. So, there. If you do not do it correctly, it will glitch up on you. Like it did on me. And then you have to do the entire level over again. So, just bear that in mind. <laughs> Alright, so this is the area that we came from. So, we're going to try to go get the rest of the cats. And then once we get all the cats from this area, then you can usually get crafting items from the area after you're done. So we'll get this cat. Alright, so we got that cat out of there. Now we have to do this one. So we're gonna go on our on our little knees here and I'll crawl. So as long as you're mainly crawling, if you press L1, then you probably won't wake him up. Because otherwise you'll snap a twig and he'll wake up. Same as this. So we're going to crawl. We're going to kneel down and with um, L1. And we are just going to try to... So you have to kind of crawl over the stick so you don't so you don't mess that up.
All right, and we got a cat over here. So being able to actually do this the second time through and know what you're actually trying to do does help you get the cats a little bit easier. I'm gonna rescue that cat. And you can always pet the cats, which is super cute. Um, it's always fun to sit there and pet them. It's just, they, they make little cute cat movements and they're super adorable. Okay, so. So, hi, uh, Tim Muller. How's it going? Great to see you. Hi, Jacob Orion. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Hi, Isaiah. Great to see you. Hi, Marissa. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. So these agents are like secret government agents and they're trying to suppress the fact that there's a, a cat shrine and they don't want anyone to know about it. So they, you know, they're trying to keep it under wraps so nobody knows about it. Oh, let's see. Whoops! I met. Oh, they got me. They got me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, so now we're all the way at the top here. I think this is our last cat. So you have to stand right by this tree and then go. As long as they're, uh, light. As long as they're light, whatever you call it, um gonna call them lightsabers I must be super tired um as long as their flashlights don't touch you you should be fine all right huh oh I swear I had my own the crate the whole time most of the time anyway the crate. Who gives a donk? We're all heading to HQ right away. Something big is shaking down. We're rolling out. Onward, ho! Oh. Hey, dummy, where are you going? HQ is to the west. Westward, ho! Oh. The agents have left the frozen lake. So now you can probably gather materials here. You can now fish at fishing spots. So now you can actually go fishing. And you can, there's a lot of cats here, so you can say hello to the cats. And they're free. The day has been saved. Alright, so we can pet these little cats now. Hi, uh, Juan, you're breathtaking. Thank you so much. You got a haircut today, PJ? Awesome. That's really great. Alright, so, yeah. So we saved the cats. So now we should be able to um, go fishing. So when you're at a fishing sign like this, you can actually go fishing a little bit. And we can try to get some different types of fish. Caught a catfish. Got a fish wine nip toy for some reason. Hi, Jacob Langlet. How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Hi, everyone. got some kind of fish there so we really need some red dye I think we need like a red snapper in this game you actually have to squeeze the fish to make dye which is kind of disturbing but um, I guess it would make sense you would squeeze like different things to make dye I would think you would squeeze like berries to make dye but 
Um, I don't really know how Luke is feeling. I guess I'll see when he wakes up. Well, thank you for asking, Timmy. Alright, so we got some sea slugs here. And you can pet these little cats if you want. And I don't know if there's another fishing spot or it's just that one. So I don't really know how many fishing spots there are, but yeah, so wherever it has like a little fishing symbol like that, you can go fishing, which is cute. All right, so we saved the cats, and uh, that was pretty cool. You can kind of almost see, I think those are little, it looks like almost cat paw prints in the snow. I don't know if that's... So we're going to return home. That's okay, William. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, no, there's Nika. So that's the cat um, guardian, and he's all locked up in the federal agent area. Poor Nico. Hi, uh, Julia. Hi, Tim Moeller. Hi, William. Hello, everyone. Hi, Timmy the Megan fan. Hi, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, anything? Unfortunately, no HQ there, but I believe I overheard the agent saying they're heading west. West? They're no doubt heading to that old Mont Fugu Island Daily Newspaper Building. Bobo must have been right. Come on! Do we always have to hang out where Mineko and Miyako are? What? Never mind them. We're hot on Kappa's trail. I know he went this way. Isn't this exciting? Dude, I know what you're doing. What? Looking for Kappa? Yeah, you're right. Let's go n now. I saw him this way. I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name very well. Shh, you never saw me. Anyway, let me know after you check out the old Mount Fugu Daily Newspaper Building out west. If the agent's AQ, HQ isn't there, I'm not sure what options we'll have left. I'll find it. Be careful out there, dude, if that's what they're all planning to meet up. The place is likely going to be absolutely crawling with agents. Hey, I made it to this point. I can handle it. For Nico! For Nico. Good luck out there, Mineko. You can now visit a uh, question mark from the bus stop. So, question mark must be the uh, HQ. Hi, I'm GameWing1. Um, hi, Isaiah. Hi, Julia. Hi, Marissa. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are all having a great day. All right. All right. So, um, so let's see. The next area we probably should go to is we do need some red dye to make some of these bowls. So, we're probably going to need to go to the lake for that. So, we're going to try that. We're gonna just going to go down to the docks. Okay. So, we're going to try that. All right, guys, so we're going to just, um, all of these things are good materials for making, like, crafts and things that we need. And as you can see, they have all kinds of cat guardian statues around. Oh, here's a new person. What a beautiful island it is. I could see myself in a place like this. I'm currently traveling the world to discover great unknown artists all across the globe. With all of the cats on this island, I'm wondering if you know of any artist here who has painted any interest Sumi flower paintings. So if we make a Sumi flower painting, she might join us at our island. 
And those people are making sushi and some other Japanese foods. So here's where we can get most of our fish. Um, I don't know how old Mineko is. I'm guessing... I guess you can kind of think of her as whatever age you want to think of her as. I'm guessing she'd be like 12 or something, but I have no idea. Um, yeah, she's definitely like in school and stuff. But I don't know how old she is. It's a good question, Brandon. Um, and great job on the, the, the views, guys, re-watching the shorts this morning. Um, they're doing really, really well, so thank you. The views on the channel went up this morning. Really appreciate you guys watching all that. Um, you, you guys have been doing fantastic re-watching the shorts. Um, thank you guys for the help with that. Alright, so we're getting some, um, red fish. All right, we got a red snapper. Bluefin tuna. Um uh. Puffer fish. Oh, wow. I don't know if I got one of those last time. I got a crab. Oh, thank you, Tim uh, Muller. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. I hope uh, you haven't... I hope you're doing all right today, Tim. And, um... Uh, great to see you. Hope you everything... Hope your health and everything is going okay. Um, thank you for the thoughts and prayers always, Tim. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, so we're going to actually eat something. Whoops, sorry. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying sorry. Okay. I don't know why I'm saying sorry. Amber, who are you saying sorry to? I don't know. All right, so we're actually going to eat this. Yakisoba. I ate soba noodles, I'm guessing. So we ate some soba noodles. Says this is pretty darn good. So now we actually were able to refill one heart with our soba noodles. And I think if you have a matcha tea, it only refills a half a heart. That's okay, the Princess Peach team was really late at night, but we got some of the, um, some of the, the, um, the ninjas, but I still need to get a lot of them. I'm gonna have to grind off camera for that, and also, um, yeah, I kind of had a lot on my mind on that stream, so I kind of, uh, just kind of, like, talked a lot, so, um, but I did get some ninjas, so thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me on that. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, I came, I came upstairs and I made, uh, so I kind of told people a little bit earlier on the stream, but I'll just say it again for people coming in. So Luke kind of woke up today, um, around two and he was hungry. So I just, I had like one of those pre-made salads that you get like a salad kit. And I, I actually had some corn on the cob that I hadn't cooked, but you can actually microwave that. So I microwaved it and um, wa rinsed it off and put some corn on the cob in there. I had some extra hamburger I made that I didn't put in the hamburger helper. So I put that in and uh, some ranch dressing on there and and cheese. And I think it was pro probably a pretty good salad. I've really gotten Luke into liking salads. He really didn't eat... Well, I don't know if he eats salad. He used to eat a lot of... Um, Good, good quality deli um, food from his grand, 
grandparents, they always uh, had good quality like roast beef and like good quality bread and you know pickles and like honestly, I really think if you get good deli meat and you know pickles and stuff like that, pickles are actually pretty healthy for you and put lettuce on a sandwich. Honestly, it's pretty healthy actually. Um, you can't go wrong with uh, good quality protein and stuff. So we can get some, uh, we can get curry to go or soba or sushi. So we can get a, we can eat a, we can get one curry to go. So next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to our inventory and go to our fish. No, now we have to actually squeeze these fish. So we're squeezing the fish to get the dye. I'll actually be sad when this game is over, uh, because I really am like this game a lot. I would, I would definitely play this game again, to be completely honest. It's very cute. Okay, we got one blue dye, so we have to get different color dye. Whoops, okay, we can't really do that. Okay, I cannot squeeze that, obviously. Okay, we got one black dye. Okay. Got some pink dye. And I'm just I'm just going through it fast because of time. All right, so let's try squeezing the. We got some brown dye here. Wow, we have a lot of uh, dye here. I wish you could squeeze them all at the same time, but you can't. Alright, so not all of them you can squeeze. So I'm going to actually sell some of this stuff. So we're actually going to sell some fish. So we're going to sell him all of our squeezed fish. And then um, some of our stuff we're actually going to put in the fish museum if we get a different fish that we're not used to getting. Alright, so we we sold all the squeezed ones and we made dye. So now all we have to do is, um, so this lady, I'm going to see what she wanted again. Sume Eve uh, flower painting. So we might not want to finish the story until we've gotten all the villagers in our town and done all the things that we need to build up our town better. I don't know. Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay, JS, okay. I'm sorry you got, I'm sorry that happened to you, JS. Okay, thank you, uh, Tim, I appreciate that. Okay, alright, aww. I'm sorry about that, JS, well, we missed you, it's good to have you back. Okay, so we're actually going to try to make some more, um, some more, uh, clay pots for our dad's ramen shop. 
So let's see if we can make any more of these pottery things. So we got ceramic bowls. Um, we're going to try to make one. Whoops, we messed that up. I messed that up. All right, we made one ceramic bowl. Okay, and let's see if we can make another one. Oh, we don't have enough clay. Darn it. Okay, so let's see how much, how many ceramic bowls we actually have. So we're supposed to actually make some ceramic bowls for our dad's ramen shop. Okay, we have two ceramic bowls, so that's not very much, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so our character's just going to go to sleep, and, um... All right, so... We could try to make some other kinds of uh, pottery or something. Um, we could even try to make that special painting for that, uh, one, that one lady, but it's actually for, um, it's actually 420. So I think we should get going to the next stream. So, um, thank you guys and gals so much for watching this episode of, um, Mineko's Night Market. Hope you guys had fun. We were able to res rescue, rescue, rescue the cats from the frozen lake and make two ramen bowls for our dad's ramen shop. So, um, next time we do Mineko's Night Market, we'll actually be going to the Night Market, which you guys will see. It's pretty exciting and fun, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun to go there. So, um, so yeah, um, don't forget we have, um, uh, LEGO DC Super Villains coming up in just a minute. We have about, uh, 25 likes on the stream, so we need, um, uh, 40 likes to start so that we can get a good, you know, amount of views on that video. So if you guys could go over there and help the likes, that would help out tremendously. And I'll see you guys in about a 10 or so minutes over there. Um, 10, 15 minutes to start the next stream on Lego DC Super Villains. Thanks guys and gals for hanging out with me and we'll see you guys on the next stream. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya.